Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you how we test and prep a speaker for rental. We make all types of videos like this, so if you're interested in AV gear or if you have an AV business of your own, please like and subscribe and we hope that you find the content useful. If you think of something else that you'd like to see, please leave a comment in the comment section below. So when we prep a speaker for rental, it's important for us to make sure that everything works and is sounding correctly. So first of all, we do a quick look, make sure there's no physical damage or anything like that. But then on the back, you'll see that this Yamaha DXR12 has three different inputs. It has an XLR input, it has a quarter inch, a stereo quarter inch input, and a stereo RCA input. So we're gonna test all three. So how do we do that? We use an oscillator. For me, I find it quicker just to use one on my phone. Some guys have standalone oscillators. But basically, I connect this to my phone, comes through the mixer, and then the mixer spits it out as XLR. So what does an oscillator do? It basically runs through the whole range of frequencies so then you can hear the difference. Now it's important, sometimes I hear guys just doing the oscillator, it goes whoop, whoop, and then they move on to the next one. But then maybe the fifth speaker sounds a little bit different and they just keep going. It's important to hear the difference. What you're trying to do is two things. One, you want to make sure it works, and two, you're trying to tune your ear so you can find out which speakers are starting to lose a little bit of their responsiveness. And uh, that comes with time. Obviously, if the speaker's blown, you'll hear like missing gaps of frequencies, or you'll hear if the low uh, speaker's blown, it'll make like a kind of flappy, crackly sound. The top end will get really weak if the horn is blown. So you'll learn those with time, but the only way that you can do that is if you train your ear. So here's what it sounds like. So we can try it again at a bit higher volume. So that's running all the way from 20 hertz all the way to 12,000 kilohertz, something like that. Okay, so we know the XLR works. So we'll turn that down, we'll unplug that. And then another way to do it, you don't have to run through a mixer. You can just run from your device straight into the input on the speaker. So I'll show you that way as well. So we'll plug it into the stereo quarter inch. We'll try it again. So it sounds good. Unplug that. Then we have another cable here that I'll try with the stereo RCA pairing. Now, when you do this, it's important to turn all the DSP and digital uh, effects off. So don't have like high pass or low pass or anything like that on the speaker. Just have it all off. That's the only way that you're going to get uh, good reference. Uh, here we go. So there. So we tested all three inputs. We heard the range of the speaker and uh, pretty satisfied with how it sounds. And now I'd say that this is ready for rental. So I'll put the soft case back on, uh, power it off, and we will prep it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything else to do with this process, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Or if you want to see any other things that we do around the shop to make sure that all our rentals go well, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks so much.